Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given here a division problem, but all the digits are hidden behind these boxes except only two digits, 8 and 0. The 0 here tells us that there is no remainder in this division operation. We are asked to use logic to reconstruct this division problem and our main goal is to find what is the value of this three-digit divisor. This problem is easier than it appears, and this problem is considered as the most popular problem published in the American Mathematical Monthly in 1954 and credit to P.L. Chessin from the Westinghouse Electric Corporation. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math problem. And if you know the answer to this problem, you can write them in our comment section. Now, let's solve this problem together. First, let's observe this part here. Since the first product here stops at this digit, then we can think that there is a digit here. And our quotient must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 digit quotient. So we start here at the question mark, multiply by this 3 digit divisor. The result is a 3 digit product. Then we subtract. Normally, we just have to bring down one digit here, but notice that there are two digits that are brought down here. This only happens when the quotient here is zero. So that means there must be a zero here. Notice that the same pattern happens here also. Instead of just bringing down this digit, two digits were brought down. So the implication of that is there is also a zero in this digit. And then there must be a last digit here. Now, since there is only 8 here as our given digit, if this 8 is multiplied by this 3-digit divisor, the result is this part here, which is also a 3-digit number. And notice that this 8 times what number gives us the minimum for digit number? Because if there are 3-digit numbers here, this cannot exceed this minimum 4-digit number. And we know that that missing factor must be 125. So if 8 times 125 is a 4-digit number, and in here we only have 3 digits, then this divisor must be less than 125. And so we now have our first conclusion here. This 3-digit divisor must be less than 125. It could be 124 or less. Next, let's look at this last digit here. This number here, times this number that must be less than 125 resulted to this four-digit number. And so we said that 8 times a number less than 125 is a three-digit number. In order to get a four-digit number, this last digit here must be 9. Just like that, and we already know these four digits of the quotient. Now, how do we find this first digit of the quotient? Let's just focus ourselves on this part. So a number times a divisor that's less than 125, that means 124 or less, resulted to this three-digit number. So clearly, 9 could not be a possible candidate because 9 times a three-digit number resulted to a four-digit number, and we have here three-digit product. So 9 is not that digit. So our candidates are numbers less than Nine. It could be 8, 7, or less. Now, let's try 7. 7 times 124 is 868. So if we assume that we have 868 here, and the difference between this 4-digit and 868 is this 2-digit number, let's assume that this 2-digit number is the maximum. Let's say 99 is the maximum 2-digit number. If we add 868 plus, suppose this is 99, the maximum value that we can get is 967, and this is relevant. Why? Because notice that we have here a four-digit number. So 967 is just a three-digit number, which means that 7 or any number less than 7 cannot be this first-digit number. And therefore, this first-digit number could not be 7 or less. It could not be 9. We are left with only one choice. And that number is 8. The first digit must be 8. And so going back to our original problem, we now know that this question mark is equal to 8. And so the quotient is 80,809. 
and this divisor must be a number less than 125. Let's try 124 first. So this quotient times 124 is this eight digit number. And let's try the other number less than 124 because our candidates are all whole numbers less than 125. So let's try 123. This quotient times 123 gives us a seven digit number. But clearly, this number must be an eight digit number. So we can now deduce that since the divisor must be 124 or less, and 123 or any number less than 123 resulted only to a seven digit number, we now conclude the divisor of 124. This number here inside must be this eight digit number. So we now know the quotient. We now know the divisor, which is what we are looking for in this problem, and we can now complete the puzzle this way. So if we are going to reconstruct this division problem, this is now the exact reconstruction, and the answer to this puzzle is 124. The divisor is 124, and we accomplish this all by just using simple logic. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video.